Uh, moving on to number two, Ms. Henry, would you please do the reading? An ordinance amending Chapter 20, Article 2, relating to fire prevention and protection to provide for the sale and use of certain consumer fireworks within the city. Ms. Henry, what do you have for us? Just want to um, bring everyone's attention that there was an amendment to um, the ordinance that was presented to you at the last meeting. Um, after this meeting, there was a, um, some discussion with the Community Development Department in regards to um, the zoning and where sales could take place. So that amendment has been added to your packet. Um, and that would be in, in 20-51. It should be in red in your ordinance. It's Did you the, say in red? Yes. In red. And it's section D. It's actually in a bolded red font for you. And that was the addition that was added. So therefore, you have an amended bill in front of you. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else, Ms. Henry? Okay. Any comments? Mr. Myers. Um, just based on public comment, um, we have people on both ends of the spectrum here, so I don't think we're going to make everybody happy on this one. Um, I just want it to be known that I did get a couple phone calls from constituents in my ward wanting, um, they wanted definitely the days to be shorter. Um, I Personally, I do like what Chief May said, having that extra contingency day for rain. Um, but uh, that's just, uh, that's, what I've, that's what I have. Okay, Alderman Moore. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm kind of going to, of the, uh, I don't want to talk out of my caboose on this, but um, what I'm reading here is, What's what's not? I see stuff in red on here that's supposed to be changed, but what it looks like to me is cover for what is really the purpose of this, and that's to make fireworks available <coughs> July second, July third, and July fifth. Everything else is just kind of fluff uh, because folks are going to are going to light those candles or whatever those floaty things are wherever they are. Um, Anytime um, we've got debris issues, I believe there's an alderman on this board that had his HOA. They did a big old cleanup. Um, we all know what a thousand pack roll pack of fireworks, what kind of debris that leaves on the street. So now we've got uh, debris into the flow lines, uh, bottle rockets. You know, we we can say you can't buy this, you can't buy that. They're just going to go over there and get them. You know, I can go to Rockport and get an arsenal, you know, and bring it back and shoot them off. Um, personally, uh, I don't really want to do any of this, honestly. Um, I just like to leave it the way it is because we haven't had any issues. At least I've lived here since 1981. I mean, I, I clean up July 5th all the time, which is fine. Uh, my street looks like Beirut after, you know, the next morning. But um, the trash is still there. The bottle rocket's still on my roof. They're in my gutters, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't bother me. You know, I'm an American. I'm patriotic. You know, once a year is plenty for me. I I'm happy with that. Um, I don't believe uh, it's going to increase sales or give us any more sales tax. You know, I don't see that as, as anything. I mean, okay. A little bit. Who cares? But I think most folks, from what we heard tonight, they don't want them. You know, they 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 want a Fourth of July. They're patriots too. Fourth of July, good to go. We're done. We're over with. People get on with their lives. Uh, so the what I my question is why? What is the real meaning behind making them legal? July second, July third, and July fifth. I hear the rain day, but I've shot them off in the rain. They still light if it's not raining very hard. So that's the question you might want to ask. What's the real meaning behind wanting to legalize fireworks for two or three extra days where you can, sh you know, 
we'll have what? It'll be four Fourth of Julys. That's the real question that I'm putting forth. Mr. Green. All right, now that I got my correct part of my agenda up. Um, I, uh, I, I, I sympathize with, with Alderman Moore and some of the other thoughts that was expressed up here and out there. Um, I, I'm not in favor of four days. I can understand an argument for two. Uh, I think that that should be really the point of discussion up here tonight. Um, but if it was right now, I couldn't support it. So I'm curious what the board thinks about about that potentially, about changing the days on that to maybe like the fourth and the fifth. Thank you. Chairman Black. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Tony, first off, fireworks aren't sold for two weeks. They're sold from June 29th to 10 p.m. July 4th. So just five days. Five days before. Um, second of all, I was on the municipal committee. I am on the municipal committee, and I did um, second Derek's vote on the extension of the days. But after hearing everybody this evening and other people around my ward, I agree fourth and fifth would be the best days. Um, nothing really before, and surely nothing way after the fifth. Um, and I have one question, but Chief isn't in here now. So I'll ask you, Mayor. If the fireworks are prohibited to be shot off at the park, why, are, why is our police department not patrolling our parks to keep them from doing that? Why does the parks department have to hire an off-duty police officer when it's prohibited and illegal? No. Prohibited and illegal all over Kansas City, too, but you can only. I'm talking go about our parks right here in Raytown, just uh, our little parks. That Why? Would be something, that would be something for you to ask the chief. That I know. So would somebody go get him? He'll probably be, he'll probably ride out there somewhere. He can probably. be called up to the post. Sure. I appreciate it. Conferences. Let him answer that since he's the chief of police. Ma'am? While we're waiting for that, Mr. Ward. Uh, well, a lot of uh, comments, and so I, I would be very happy to uh, consider the third, the fourth, and the fifth. The part of the problem in limiting it to the fourth is it forces families to choose between uh, going to the big displays downtown or staying here in Raytown. And by giving them the third, it gives them a little more flexibility, which increases the opportunity for people to have their families come from out of town, stay in Raytown, visit in Raytown, and spend their tax dollars here. As a practical matter, people are not going to be shooting off on the 5th unless there is some sort of rain event. Um, so I'd like to have a little more opportunity to just kind of increase the festive atmosphere. Uh, originally, when I drafted this, I had drafted it the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, and it was at Chief's May's suggestion that he was concerned about people storing fireworks that we added the 5th and got to the 4th day. Um, so, you know, my intent was never originally to have four days. It was to have three. And I think the third, fourth, and fifth uh, would, would give people flexibility to plan their vacations. I'd be open to that. But the question was asked is, what's the real reason? It's because I like fireworks. Uh, it's because every place I've lived has generally had loud fireworks for three or four days. Uh, Lee Summit has, allows them for three or four days. Independence allows them for three or four days. Grandview, I believe, allows them for three or four days. So uh, this would hardly be aberrational. But the real reason is because I like them, because I think it increases the festive atmosphere in Raytown, and it has the potential to bring in additional tax dollars. Uh, I would like to hear the question about the parks, if we, if we could. That was brought up to me, and I uh, reached out to the parks board to ask them if that was something they'd be willing to do, and apparently it is. Okay, so going back up to Alderman Black. Chief Alderman Black had a question for you. Hi, Chief. Hi. 
Okay, so right here, um, it, it says down here, the shooting of fireworks is prohibited on Raytown Parks and other public property and in business districts. Um, my question is, if the fireworks is prohibited in our parks in Raytown, why our police department does not patrol our parks better on 4th of July, and why does the parks department have to hire an off-duty police officer to do the job of what our police department should be doing? Okay. Well, uh, one of the answers is that we don't have as many officers as last year. We have... Uh, um, I'm well, not even I'm, just referring I'm, I'm, I'm to this year question. or last year, but it, just in previous okay. years, Look, if it's always been I'm going to answer your question, okay, Ms. Black? I'm going to yes, try sir. to. We have less officers. We do patrol the parks. Um, we prioritize the call that day. Um, it is illegal to shoot off fireworks. It's up to the parks department. We just uh, we just talked. They want to hire an off-duty officer. I don't know if we're going to be able to fulfill that anyway. If we have if we don't have enough officers to do that, so they asked us to work there. We didn't ask. To. No, that's okay. fine. I just I guess I'm really just in a quandary as to if they're prohibited in our parks, why our police aren't patrolling them. I mean, I know that we have police officers designated for each area of our town. I, I disagree with the fact that you're saying we don't patrol the parks. You're saying we don't patrol the parks. Um, I'm so, sorry. From, from what I understood from hearing from Jody and the other people, it sounds like it's a pretty big party at Coleman Park on 4th of July. Okay. So I'm just curious as to why. That's it's all, It's not Chief. the only place that has fireworks. We prioritize call on the 4th of July. We get tons of fireworks calls, but not just the park. I know. I've had someone knock on my door. So. We quit shooting fireworks off. Well, it was the house <laughs> behind me. That was the thing, you know. So, but no, no I, mean, I was just we, really. We I'm, prioritize calls. I mean, we have a lot of calls all over the city. Okay. Can I ask one more time? Sure. One more question. Sure. I'm not trying to be difficult. But we know fireworks are prohibited in our parks. Why wouldn't we go the extra mile to patrol our parks on that day? How do you know that we're not? I mean, that you're making a statement that we don't patrol the parks, and I don't think you're. I don't think you're accurate. I may not be. No, okay. sir. We, we correct. Correct. The I may not be. But from what these people said earlier, I get the impression they're not patrolled heavily on Fourth of July. I could be incorrect. You couldn't imagine how many calls we have on the Fourth of July, and we're not going to we're not going to sit in the park all day. We're going to prioritize calls, and we'll answer those calls in a prior on a priority basis. Can I ask what kind of calls you get on Fourth of July? A lot of fireworks calls, because disturbances, on accidents. Fourth of July? It's the standard stuff. It's seven days a week, 24-7. It's just whatever. Whatever happens, we answer the calls. Thank and you, we Chief. prioritize them. Appreciate it. Okay. Alderman Myers. Steve Myers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, <clears throat> appreciate your work on some, Ms. Derrick. Um, I, I, I like some of the legislation. It's actually some of the amended stuff that is in here. Um, and I'm in favor of the fifth just for, it makes sense. I mean, 95% I, of the people shooting off fireworks are going to do it on fourth. They got to go back to work on a fifth. So we're talking about probably a small percentage of people <coughs> that will exercise the right to do that. And that right would be legal. I mean, I, I still, enforcement of fireworks <laughs> that's a challenge. I mean, go, going to Kansas City, they're illegal in, Can illegal in Kansas City. It's not a high priority, I don't think, for the policemen to do that. So, um, but, but somebody mentioned the fact that if they're legal and your child wants to fire off some fireworks on the 5th, you're kind of structuring it the right way in that regard. Does that make sense? Um, but I, I don't think that I'm in favor of extending it much past the fourth or the, or the fifth in that regard. And it just, believe it or not, and more calls on fireworks in the budget last year from our constituents. Kind of strange, but true. Um, and they all were not in favor of extending the time frame for various and sorted reasons. And those are just the people that, that took the time to call and and aren't aware of what we do up here. There's a large portion of our community that's that's not
plugged in, you know, to what we're doing. And if they probably were, probably might not be in favor of extending the deadline in that regard. But I do like the zoning clearance um, that was referenced by Teresa on the amendment of Section 2051. Um, because that, that does impact the not-for-profits and stuff that, that you were making the point of, Derek, of, of trying to raise some more revenue. If they don't have to go out and rent a parking lot on Apple Market for a week for $4,000 and can actually house that sale tent on their property, that's an automatic three to $4,000, you know, more dollars in their pocket so that they can have that there. I believe that is what we're talking about, right? Um, having some zoning clearances in regards to that. So I think that's a good thing. So when we're talking about maybe raising some more money but not doing it on the second in lieu of putting the tent, that's kind of a win-win <laughs> in, in, in my thought process. So everything you did other than a couple of those days, Derek, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. The, the Mark's, rep, Ms. Alderman Moore's reference of are they still going to light the parachute thing? Yeah, they are. I mean, just, 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 it's just the way the world rolls sometimes. But you, you spend some time on it, and I can appreciate that. So other than amending some of the dates, I'm good with, uh, with everything that you proposed here. Alderman Moore. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to remind the board that you don't make ordinances for yourself because you like to shoot fireworks off. The ordinances are, are, are designed to help the citizens of Raytown, period. You know, it, that's why this was brought, brought forward, because I like to shoot them off. Well, that don't make any sense. You know, how selfish is that? I, you know, uh, yeah, you, you can write all the fluff and language you want in this thing, okay? We've got a lot of uh, bigger issues to, to worry about. So we go ahead and we let uh, all these uh, nonprofits go ahead and they can start setting up tents everywhere. I can file for 501, and I'll set my own tent up. So that gives the, uh, the opportunity for 5,000 people to apply for a 501 and come in here and set up tents. We'll be a firework city, just like we are a convenience store city, right? Is that what it is? You know? But I'll say it one more time, ordinances are not made for yourself, period. And I'm going to vote no on all this just because of that. Mr. Barge, you wanted to finish your comment that had to do with his. Go ahead. Um, and I'm sorry I jumped in from somebody, but there's only 10 applications allowed per year, Mark, and they, they start on April 1st. They go through, already filled. I know, but there won't be any additional. So those go through Chief Mays when they set up the 10 not-for-profits. So there, to your point, there won't be 500 tents. There's, there's only 10 allowed in that regard. So Ms. Bims. Oh, sit down. Um, I, my question was who's going to enforce it? Even whatever we got on the books now, don't nobody enforce it. So my concern is... What what is it actually that we really want to do so we don't beat a dead horse? So we going to vote for what two days, as Chief May said, or vote for no days, leave it as it is, and move forward? I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, but um, it was a lot of work put into this. I understand that. I'm not one. And I'm not going to make it my personal piece. I have had bad experiences with fireworks, and I got enough fireworks in life that I can't tell between the guns and the fireworks. So my whole thing is, what what do we want to do? How we want to vote on this and and move this on? Mr. Van Buskirk. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This was brought forward as a proposal to our municipal committee. We looked at it. Um, we brought amendments to the ordinance forward. Certainly, if anyone on this board wishes to make an amendment to any portion of this, they can do so. It doesn't make the whole thing bad. And I think some of these changes are needed changes. Um, you know, by voting no, 
you're not changing the original ordinance. It's going to stay as is then. Uh, but you, I think, in to, to vote yes relative to some of these changes, I think they're good. Um, as, Matt, as Chief Mace was stating, these hot air balloons made of paper, they're dangerous. And they have chosen not to allow the sale of those in our city. But this gets our ordinance in line with the fire department's regulation by not allowing them to be to be used in the city because they are dangerous. And as he was saying, Roman candles, you know, probably shouldn't have been included in this in the first place. And this gets it back to where they can be utilized. And you take the dangerous things out. Um, so I think the changes, for the most part, are good. Um, the number of days, I, I can certainly see a question as to opening this up for that many days, uh, where that could, you know, be a problem. Uh, certainly, what we're what we're celebrating is, you know, our independence, and that's July Fourth. So we have to remember that. But uh, if we wanted to, you know, if the board chose to amend this to allow a couple days in there, I wouldn't be opposed to that. But uh, but I that's that's what you need to do if you're not in agreement with portions of this is to make an amendment to change that. And uh, you certainly have that opportunity right now. Uh, you don't have to, it's not necessarily vote on the whole thing or don't vote on the whole thing as is. You can make those changes. And um, uh, I'm in agreement with, with most of it, or I wouldn't have voted to, to bring it forward to the whole board. Uh, do I agree with all of it necessarily? No, I thought the number of days was probably a little excessive uh, myself, but uh, that's something that our board can make a decision about um, here. So you have that opportunity right now. I, does someone know? I think I think in fact um, you're talking about the number of licenses uh, for for tents. I think it's ten, uh, and the fire department does. They have a fee related to each of those licenses. Is that what a thousand dollars? I believe, which goes to the fire department. So. Um, I, I wish Matt, uh, our Chief Mace, was still here so he could we could ask him exactly, you know, what that's used for and why they need to collect that much from each of these charitable organizations. But I, there may be good reason, but I, he's not here to address that, unfortunately. And uh, it's something I should have should have uh, should have asked him when he was here when he had the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Ward. So I am perfectly willing to hear uh, other thoughts, and I uh, appreciate everybody that came out and spoke uh, against it and for it. It's part of the democratic process, and I certainly don't expect everybody to have the same sensibilities I do. I will say that I have been uh, particularly disappointed in two aspects tonight, uh, the first being the uh, representation of the park board. Uh, before matters come to this board, when I look through the packets and I see the park boards asking for something, I always make the point to reach out and communicate with them in advance to kind of feel them out and get their perspectives. And I feel a little blindsided uh, by the lack of reciprocal courtesy on that. Uh, as for the matter of having somebody patrol the parks, that was brought to me by a Raytown resident, uh, and I took the initiative to contact the parks to see if that was something that could be done. Um, so I thought that was a good idea. I thought they had a legitimate concern and tried to uh, address that. But uh, at no time was it mentioned that they were going to be opposed to this. I understand the reasons for their opposition, and they're legitimate. I would have just appreciated the same courtesy that I give them. Uh, and, you know, Mr. Moore, I have not made any of uh, my sort of statements personal, but I feel like you're trying to make this personal, and I don't appreciate it. You know what? It is personal. Hang on a minute, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Look, look, look. First of all, you need to ask if you can go back and forth like that. That's proper protocol. If you'd like to answer, I'd like ahead. to answer him. Thank you. 
You said it on the dais. I brought this up because I like fireworks. Plain and simple. This board does not make ordinances for yourself. I might as well try to get an ordinance to hang up so we can change motors on the big tree out there on the green space. I'd like to get a transcript of that because I think I offered several reasons, including tax uh, tax benefits, people vacation in Raytown, and the fact that I like fireworks. So okay. to selectively take one part of that statement, I still I just, just it, it doesn't make any sense to admit with an ordinance that you like fireworks. That's why it's brought forth. Are, were there a couple of things in here I would have considered? Yeah, until that was mentioned. You know, and okay. if you guys want an extra two days, well, Bill, in my neighborhood, if they're legal, I'm going to send them to your house, to your neighborhood, and you can have two Fourth of July's, July 4th and 5th. Okay. Period. I, I, think, I think everybody's had enough of back and forth like this. So I'm, I'm going to call it quits on this. This is ridiculous. It went through the municipal committee. It was brought before the board. So that being said. Mr. Mayor, may I say one more thing? The municipal committee, and I was there at that meeting, we had, we had like four minutes of discussion on it. That's it. Mr. Green. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, can I get some clarification from, on, on Section 2041 uh, concerning the age? 4049. I said 41. 2049. Thank you. Apparently, I can't read tonight. Um, so unlawful. So except. So it, it's, it says except for those dates upon which the discharge of fireworks is permitted in Section 2048, section above, it'd be unlawful for any person under the age of 16 uh, to possess or discharge consumer fireworks within the city limits, except with the permission of the person owning or leasing the property whereupon the possession and discharge occurs. So essentially what I guess what I'm getting at is 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 it possible that somebody is uh, a child could be shooting off these legally without parental supervision? Is that the way I can read that. Now, that would that, be, a, a, I guess, a point of clarification to our city attorney. That is how I would understand this change. I will defer to Mr. Ward, who drafted it. Is that the intent of your change? Mr. Mayor. Please, please. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, did you get? Well, no, I didn't get my did, answer. Mr. Ward. No, I'm just, I'm oh. trying. Did you hear him? He's, yeah, he said, yeah, and then he, he deferred to him the Okay. Speak as well. yes, yes, please. Thank you. All right. So the point of this was to allow uh, children that are maybe visiting their friends to be jointly participating in these fireworks. What we removed was the language that said direct visual supervision. Um, you know, I when I was six and seven years old, I was riding my bike ac uh, across the streets to buy fireworks and coming back and shooting them, and my parents were okay with that. I mean, I, I trust parents to... Uh, set limits for their children and uh, to send their children over to parents that share similar values. Is there a chance this will be abused? Certainly, as every law can be abused. But the point was is to uh, not make somebody a criminal because John goes over to Jack's house and Jack's mom says, yeah, you guys can go out and shoot the fireworks. Well, does that mean John's now breaking the law because his mom's not there even though his mom's fine with Jack's mom supervising him? That was the point of this. Sure, and I appreciate that. Um my concern, though, is that the way, I, unless I'm reading it wrong, the way I read it, and I just asked, I'm asking for adult supervision. I could care less if it's, you well, know, your buddy some, Robbie's dad, or if, you know, I mean, that, what I'm getting at is, is that if it's if it's worded in a way that, I just don't want to see something worded in a way that you're going to have a bunch of 11 year olds shooting off stuff without any adult supervision. Well, an adult would have to be the person that owns or leases the property. A minor would not normally have well, to Well, the capacity. section that's marked out is, it says, un unless under the direct visual supervision of a parent, guardian, or other adult over the age of 25. So maybe that section shouldn't be marked out. I, I, I guess I'm, I'm curious why that was striked. And I, I, when I saw that this weekend, I told myself I was going to bring that up as well, but 
Because the follow-on provision says, except with the permission of the person owning or leasing the property, whereupon they're shooting them off. So, so technically speaking, though, you still can have a child that would be shooting these off unsupervised by an adult, the way that's worded, except with the permission. So, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that – I'm just saying we're talking about enforcement of, you know, trying to enforce firework laws, which obviously I imagine is a nightmare. Um, you know, let's say a patrol officer is driving by and down the street and he sees an 11-year-old shooting off mortars and with his friend, and there is no adult supervising. Well, he can say, the, the adult in the house can say, oh, they have my permission, but he's not supervising. I mean, I understand that we can't legislate morality. That's not the whole government. But, you know, I think at some point, if, if we are able to enforce these laws, we do need to give our, our police the proper tools to, you know, to actually follow through and say, hey, guess what? You know, you weren't supervising. Yes, those kids had your permission, but you weren't supervising. And no, according to our ordinance, it says you can't do that. You need to be supervising your kids. You know, I grew up, in, I love fireworks too. And I, my old man, God bless him, he, 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 he did a whole spread. You know, now he lives up in Lawson. We, we have a good old time. But I'll tell you something. When I was a kid, you know, 10, 11 years old, I shut off that stuff. My dad was always there. I wasn't by myself. But I know there was a lot of kids in my neighborhood. That wasn't the case, you know. And, and frankly, you know, it was... Uh, I, I just want to make sure that there's, there's teeth to enforcing this if we are able to enforce it, you know. And that, that's my concern with that. My second concern would be the... Um, I don't like the way that's worded. It is the dates. I would be more inclined to be favorable to two. I think that's appropriate. I understand Chief Mace's and uh, your, some of your points about that. But, uh, yeah, those were my concerns. Section 2049, I feel like, should be rewarded. Um, actually, and I'd like to make an amendment to do such because we're, we're going on. I'd like to make an amendment to change the dates um, to the 4th and the 5th. The same time is on here. So it'd be, you would keep C and D, and, fr and frankly, you'd keep E as well, December 31st for one hour beginning 11 p.m. So that's that one hour. So to strike A and B on section 2048, that's my amendment, the first part. The second part would be, I, uh, I don't like the language that was striked in 2049, so I'd, I'd like to restore that. So my amendment is two things, just to recap. Strike section A and B underneath 2048, and then uh, maintain the strike language in section 2049. And that's just my thoughts. I'd like to make a, a motion for that, I suppose. Alderman Green. Alderman Green. Alderman. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'd like to look at section... 20-53. And maybe it, yeah. The page 4 of 4. Yeah. 4 of 4. Okay, that was that part. Where it says except as permitted. Or yeah. Other th that would be, con yes, that would be consistent with the rest of that. Yes. Yes, ma'am. It would be on, of your ordinance you have in front of you, page 4 of 4. At the top, which is in red. It would be stating the times again so that they would be consistent. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'll be consistent with the rest of the mo a minute. And, and, I'll, still, and, I, and I'll still second that. Appreciate, and I appreciate your conversation, Mr. Ward. Yeah, well, yes. Green, first and second is Mr. Ward on the amendments. Can I Everybody? clarify? Can I clarify? Yes, please. On 20-48, striking A and B, leaving C, D, and E. On um, That's 20, correct. 20-49, F. Restoring the language that was previously there. Correct. And then section 20-53E, um, changing that language so that it is consistent with 20-48. Yes, ma'am. That's correct. Yeah, Thank you for pointing that out. Everybody understand those changes? All right. I, before, we, before we vote, I would like the city attorney to also look, because it talks about times if, a, if on the 4th, some of the language that was struck talks about if the fourth falls on a Sunday, the fireworks wouldn't be permitted before noon. Yeah. 
I don't know if that language needs to be then consistent when we're removing these now. You're referring to the language that was stricken. Yeah, discharge on July 4th. and says, except if July 4th is on a Sunday, the earliest time for discharge is noon. Yeah, that's that seems appropriate, being that it's church day. Yeah. So the, so the strike through would that's be right. the same, removing that, restoring the language previously um, in 2048. That seems fair. Okay. Okay. Everybody understand that change? Mr. Van Buster. Would it be an appropriate time to make an amendment to that amendment now prior to that being voted on? I'd like to amend that. I, I, I'm in agreement with everything that Alderman Green stated, with the exception of I'd like to just leave it July 4th. And uh, July 4th and December 31st. And uh, remove July 2nd, 3rd, and 5th. We'd have to do that on a separate vote after we pass this, correct? We would do his amendment first. Yes. Bill, are you striking ideas. the second and the third? Yeah, he's keeping those and adding two at the fifth, so he would strike A, B, and B, if I understand. Yeah, I, I, would, I would leave only the fourth, which is uh, C, and uh, E, which is December 31st, and remove, remove A, B, and D. So I would leave, still leave it. To where you would just be shooting them on the 4th of July. Let me, okay, I, let me explain a little bit. You know, I think quite often people are a little on edge when fireworks are going on in their neighborhood and the possibility of things getting on the roof and the houses catching on fire and uh, mulch catching on fire around houses and grass, which you know, dry time of the year, so on and so forth. And uh, uh, so I think sometimes it's uh, it may just add additional stress for additional days. So I just uh, I, and and we what we're celebrating is our Independence Day. It's on the Fourth of July, and I think that'd be appropriate day to to do it. So that's why I'm proposing the amendment. Other other than that, everything that Alderman Green suggested, I will I will uh, was okay with me. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Ms. Bims. I, I just want to point out, I understand what Alderman Van Busker want, but you have a motion and a second. Yes, oh. I'm, I'm getting ready to deal with that. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. I appreciate No, you're right on top of what I'm thinking. That, that was my question. Do I make, if I want to make an amendment to that, do I wait until it is voted on or do I make that amendment now, uh, Mr. Attorney? Absolutely. That's what, it, and that's what I, I'm doing. I can't hear you both talking at the same time. Counselor, can you answer the question for me? You have the discretion to allow him to make that amendment at this time. Sure. I think it would be much easier to make the vote on the first amendments and then come back and amend that. It would be easier for everybody to understand, number one, and number two, it would, it would come out much better that way. So. Let's do that, and then Mr. Van Buskirk, you can come back and amend it. Okay, I, I, let me say this. Uh, if, if the amendment comes forward, as is, with the additional days, I will vote no. Even though most of the changes here, I, I'm for. If you allow my amendment first, I will vote yes for it, and if the rest of the board does not, then I will, I will uh, okay, vote so you, for the I'll okay, vote for the Now amendment. I understand what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to do just that one yes. part of the amendment. Absolutely. First. I thought you wanted it to add it to all. No. Okay. All right. Okay. That we can do. And Okay. All right. Are we doing an amendment to the amendment? Yes. <laughs> yes. But his amendment is just one thing. Then we'll come back and vote on the rest of it. Because he wants to vote yes on everything else except that one part. Yeah. So. Point of order. Yes, sir. Okay, so just to clarify before we get into this, so we'll be voting on Mr. Van Bus Alderman Van Buskirk's 
amendment to the amendment first. We'll be voting on just that one thing, changing okay, it to so, just one okay, day. Okay, so we're voting on just the day. Right. So just to clarify, Alderman Van Buskirk supporting fireworks for July 4th, here stated 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., and then on December 31st for one hour beginning at 11 p.m. Is that correct, sir? Okay. Everybody got that? Is there a second to that amendment to the amendment? That's not yet. Not yet. I'll second Bill's amendment. Okay. Okay, so on Mr. Van Buskirk's motion. Question. Mr. Myers. And I almost don't have the nerve to, <clears throat> to bring this up, but I'm going to. Does anybody have an issue with E, December 31st, Firing off fireworks at 11 p.m. because I've never on New Year's Eve shot off anything at 11 o'clock. That's what Mr. Green was just talking about. <laughs> well, it's and that and that means you got to stop at 12, and that's kind of when I start. <laughs> so I mean, I know, we're, I know we're crossing hairs here. So does that bother anybody? If that doesn't bother anybody, then I'm just going to turn my light yeah, off. So you're going to shoot them off anyway. Yeah. All right. So we're back okay to Mr. Van Buskirk's motion. Amendment, I'm sorry, amendment, seconded by Mr. Moore. Would you please call the roll on that amendment, Ms. Henry? And the amendment is just 20-48, striking A, B, D, and E. Or no, it's only on the date A, B, period. D. Strike everything but C and E. Thank you, though, for bringing that up, Ms. Mims. Sure. Appreciate it. Right. Ms. Henry, do you have that all yet or no? Yeah. I guess I do. Okay. Right. Go ahead and call the roll. And Buskirk? Yes. Alderman Moore? Yes. Alderman Ryan Myers? No. Alderman Green? No. Alderman Steve Myers? No. Alderman Black? No. Alderman Mims? No. No. Alderman Ward? No. All right, motion fails. Seven to two. Now back to the original amendment. <laughs> Does anybody need that re read or anything? Okay. Go ahead and call the roll on that. Oh, Ms. Bimps? I'm that sorry. Was the original is CD and <laughs> The original one that C, Mr. Green D, brought up. Yes. Is that right, Jason? Yes, ma'am. Yes. C, D, and E, and then the, the changes to the, the kids. The kids. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Me. Me. No, Mr. Green's was Mr. Green and Mr. Ward. Oh, excuse me. Call the roll, please. Alderman Green? Yes. Alderman Ward? Yes. 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 Moore? No. Alderman Black? Yes. Alderman Mims? Yes. Alderman Steve Myers? Yes. Yes. Alderman Buskirk? Yes. All right, motion passes. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Number three. Yeah, wait, that was the amendment. We that was the amendment. Right. Right. Three minutes. No. We're almost done. Almost done. Or, 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 or can I just be excused? Let's, <laughs> let's take care of this. And just this part. Yes. Before the resolution. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Now, now that we've got that all taken care of, <laughs> 